So here we are now for our annual fig cutting giveaway. And we are at Kevin Chang's property of Bear Root Nation. And you can follow him at Bear Root Nation YouTube. And I'm gonna be putting the link down below as well as you can find it in the comments. And Kevin, what are we gonna be pruning today? So today we are gonna be pruning a Kadota fig. And it's uh, one of the more popular figs you can find on the market today. Uh, fairly large, it gets about green to a yellow color. Now it has a very nice um, heavy crop around springtime or summer. Uh, very good tasting, has uh, like a honey aftertaste. And um, then around fall, I'll get a second crop. And uh, that's what we're gonna be cutting today. That's fantastic. And for those of you that have been following us for many years, we were here on this property somewhere between two and three years ago when we pruned this Kadota fig virtually to the ground. The parent plant was right here in the center of the tree. And I was able to convince Kevin into cutting it as there was some vigorous sucker growth happening. And as you can see, what's then happened is we've created this vase shaped structure from the sucker growth. And now these have become the three primary branches, again, growing in this vase shape to maximize on exposure of sunlight within the canopy of the tree. And the more light that comes in contact with the leaves, the more sugars, the better quality, the better yields of figs that we're also gonna to get to enjoy yeah. off this fig. What we're gonna be doing today is we're going to be pruning. So it's gonna be a pruning lesson. And as we both know, the more you prune your figs, and the more they're gonna grow, the more vigor that they're gonna express come spring, and the more they grow on that first year's growth, you're gonna have more of what is known as the primary crop, yeah. which is the sweeter and typically the better quality fig for those living in colder grow zones where they're dependent upon the breba crop which is that first crop yeah. you can see that there are some figs as kevin explained when it comes to the kadota there's a two crop cycle and this here is the first crop of figs you can see that they're pushing out on what's now called last year's wood or last year's growth and here's one fig two figs and there's a third right here behind it but the primary crop the main crop the sweet crop especially in longer grow zones such as here in southern california or across the southern united united states and in warmer climates you're gonna enjoy figs starting when would you say second crop usually kicks in i'd say around fall the beginning of fall is when i'll start seeing them forming and then about mid december i'll finish off the crop so I'd say like august september the hotter months that usually pushes the you know optimal maximum sweetness into the fruits. Yep. Well, let's get started with pruning. So in general, if you're not dependent on that breba crop, which is the first crop, and assuming that you've got a longer grow season where you can enjoy the primary crop, the main crop, the sweeter, typically more delicious crop, then you're gonna to wanna to prune your fig by anywhere from a minimum of 40% to upwards of 70%. And the way we're gonna do that is you can take a look here at, this was all of last year's growth. You can follow my fingers going down, 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 down. This is where we pruned last year. We're just gonna go up about one to two nodes and prune like so. That's our first cut. And this is our first cutting. And now we're gonna, demonstrate this point again. If you wanna take a look at the branch here in front of you, this is all of last year's growth, going down, 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 down. You can see where we pruned it last year. We're just gonna go up, one, two nodes, and prune. And now Kevin and I are gonna continue doing just that. All right, so we just finished up pruning the tree and now we're gonna paint the whole tree with the Ivy Organics product to seal up all the wounds. And if you come over here. And today we're gonna be using the white and this is the three-in-one plant guard where uh, you can now be, find it at Laguna Hills Nursery. We'll be stocking this in all three colors. 
and in the spray bottle if you want to find that in Orange County. And um, So today we're going to be filling in and painting in the cuts from last year's. They have a really soft pits on the inside. So as you can see right here, they'll start uh, rotting and hollowing out if you don't seal these wounds in time. We're just going to throw down a quick little coat. So we're doing this uh, painting right now in springtime or just before springtime to protect it from our summer heat. And you can also do this uh, in the fall time pr to protect your trees from winter scolding. I've been using this product now for about three years. So not only do I use it on my fig trees, but I use it on all my tropical trees like my avocados, especially when they're young and my mango trees and, and basically any other tree that I have back here that I want to protect while they're young from the sun. Let me give you a hand, Kevin. So we're also going to be coating all of the fresh cuts, too. And the other reason I like using this product is because it's uh, organic. And generally around here, I'm selling a lot of my fruit products and selling my trees back to people. So we want to keep it as organic as possible. Uh, try not to use any kind of pesticides or anything that will harm the people, the tree, or the environment. So as you can see, we've just pruned all of these Kadota figs from Kevin's Bear Root Nation garden. And to get your hands on these figs, and as we've done for many years, for the annual free fig cutting giveaway, all you've got to do is go to ivoryorganics.com right now, and you'll see these gardening tips, which are designed to make this your best growing season ever. There's 10 gardening tips there. Pick one or pick all of them and put them on your wall whether it be on twitter or instagram or facebook and put a hashtag ivory organics or tag us so that we can find your post and there's going to be a lucky winner every single day in the month of february of 2020 that simple not easy for those of you that want to guarantee big cuttings we're giving them away right now with our discounted bag of the Ivory Organics Six Macros Fertilizer. So as you can see here, we've got the Super Blend as well as the Premium Blend. The Super Blend just has a higher NPK value and the 11 ounce bags will be coming with one cutting and in the month of February, all the fertilizers will be discounted and with every purchase, it's gonna include a fake cutting, whether you buy the Super Blend or the Premium Blend, which has a lower NPK. And the cool thing about Six Macros Plus is that it has all of the plant macronutrients the nutrients plants need an abundance, unlike pretty much all the other fertilizers on the market that only have NPK in them. Six Macros Plus delivers all of the macronutrients. In addition to, you'll also find a lot of the micronutrients, which include iron, manganese, zinc, copper, and boron, all important to accomplish the metabolic processes within the plant. And Kevin's gonna demonstrate for us um, momentarily his success using these products over the last couple of years. Additionally, if you buy the four pound bags, which again are discounted in the month of February, you'll be receiving two cuttings with every purchase of the four pound bags. And again, there's no limit. So the more bags you buy, whether you buy the 11 ounce or the four pound bags, the more cuttings you're gonna get. And I'm gonna make sure that those are all randomly um, collected so that the more bags you get, the more different variety fig cuttings you'll be receiving into your garden. And then we're gonna be discussing in future lessons. Today we talked about pruning. But in future lessons, by subscribing and following the Ivory Organics YouTube channel, as I hope you also do with Bear Root Nation as well, YouTube channel, we're going to be discussing potting. We're going to be discussing um, what to do with your cuttings in regards to rooting them if you want to establish brand new trees from these cuttings. And also we're going to be discussing how to do grafting. And we're also going to be discussing air layering. So there's going to be a whole bunch of topics we're going to discuss. So be sure to tune in to the Ivory Organics YouTube channel to stay connected with all of these publications all coming out in the month of February. Well, Kevin, share with us some of your success stories. So here's my little experiment that I uh, was testing out with the uh, Six Macros Plus Super Blend. And uh, this one has a higher NPK compared to the premium blend over here. 
And uh, so I got 10 Cherimoya seedlings. I have them all in Gary's Best Top Pot, which you can find at Laguna Hills Nursery in Santa Ana. And I gave them all the same lighting, all the same types of water, except for this guy right here. He's the only one that got the super blend. And as you can see, he's uh, doing a lot better than all his other siblings. And not only have I had success with this one plant, but I've also used this blend on various other tropical trees I have back here, like my avocados, and same results. They're all really stoked and they're growing really fast. So if you've enjoyed this educational moment brought to you by Ivory Organics, be sure to give us a thumbs up. And also, reminder again, be sure to visit, do you wanna share? Uh, you can visit me at Bear Root Nation at uh, Instagram or on our YouTube channel, and they're all at Bear Root Nation. Thank you so much again for um, reminding us about your Instagram as well. And that's a wonderful way to reach out to Kevin. And he is another expert in plant and tree care as well. So if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to my friend. I'm sure you'll be able to yep. help answer a lot of these questions. Yep. That'll be wonderful. Thank yep. you, Kevin. And again, yep. thank you so much uh -huh. for having me here and for sharing your Kadota fig with all of our viewers and, and, and being a part of this year's annual fake cutting giveaway. Yeah, thanks for stopping by. Of course. Mm -hmm. As always, keep growing with Ivory Organics and wishing you all happy gardening.